Is Reanimal our dream little nightmares game? Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone, I'm the Global Cherry and today we're going to discuss everything we know about Reanimal. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! <laughs> You were dead. Tarzier had recently announced their upcoming game Reanimal, along with an exciting trailer and gameplay footage. Some fans have speculated whether Reanimal could be the next Little Nightmares, but rather than focus on that, I want to explore whether it could be the ideal Little Nightmares experience. Given that the developers of Little Nightmares 1 and 2 are behind this project, it's no surprise the game carries a similar eerie atmosphere and unsettling charm. Their signature touch seems to shine through. So what is Reanimal all about? In this horror adventure, a brother and sister arrive on a mysterious island by boat, accompanied by other children who are their friends. One of these children even wears a mask resembling a gnome. After a tragic event tears the group apart, the siblings must navigate a nightmarish landscape to rescue their friends and escape the island they once called home. Both brother and sister wear masks. The girl dons a rapid mask and carries a light, while the boy wears a sack with a noose tied at the end. You can play Reanimal solo or in co-op with a friend, joining the orphans in their desperate search for hope and redemption in the bleakest of circumstances. As the siblings, you'll explore both by boat and on land, relying on your wits to survive, work together, and uncover the dark secrets that haunt this island. According to the game's Steam page, Reanimal takes place in a dark and twisted world, where the main path is only one fragment of the story. This suggests that each playthrough could have different outcomes, with multiple branching paths to explore. In this intriguing world, as you strive to rescue the other children, you'll encounter mysterious locations on your perilous journey, each with its own story to tell. The trailer shows the siblings climbing a long ladder, hinting at the vastness of the island. As they navigate by boat, they pass decaying buildings reminiscent of those like in Pale City and later, they're shown in an area filled with metal pipes giving off the same eerie atmosphere as the maw. At one point, they even stand on a beach beside a stranded boat, but escaping the island won't be easy, as it's inhabited by monstrous sentient creatures, part human, part animal, that have risen from the dead. In both the trailer and gameplay footage, we catch glimpses of some of the terrifying creatures the siblings will face in this claustrophobic horror experience. One disturbing figure is a humanoid wearing a hat, seen dragging someone into a cinema. Another creature with its head upside down chases the children on a small bike. The tension ramps up as the siblings run down tight corridors, pursued by boneless human-like creatures that slither out of suitcases like snakes. A gigantic monster lurks in the water, proving that danger is everywhere, even at sea. One scene shows the children on a boat. One steers while the other uses harpoons to fend off monsters monstrous creatures amidst a sea of dead bodies. This suggests that both characters might use tools or weapons throughout the game. We also see them hiding under a table as a grinning man crawls across the top, wriggling in search of them. A headless spider-like creature smashes through a wall before disappearing. It might be the same one that crawls into a room on human hands, dragging its unsettling body, possibly with human children or heads clinging to it. <laughs> A large pig also briefly glances at the children as they sneak past. Standing over a bathtub, the island is crawling with monstrous beings, illustrating just how intimidating and dangerous this world is for the children. But perhaps the most menacing foe is the sheep, a key antagonist in Reanimal. In one eerie scene, we see a young lamb contort its body, with every bone audibly cracking as it reanimates. Later, that same creature, now with an elongated neck, sticks its head through a window, seemingly ready to devour a child. The child sits on their bed looking dejected as if they've resigned to their fate or know that the lamb won't harm them. Could this be a recurring nightmare haunting them each night? Much like the children in Little Nightmares, these orphans must have troubled pasts that seem to be catching up with them. At one point, the siblings peer down a well, while the bleeding of that same lamb echoes in the background, growing louder and more ominous. 
Jesus. That same sheep is later revealed in a much larger form, with human-like arms and legs, a grotesque transformation if it's the same lamb we saw earlier in the trailer. So what's really happening in Reanimal? The title itself is a clever play on the word reanimate, hinting at the game's central theme of bringing things back to life. In the trailer, a girl's voice chillingly says nothing lasts forever, suggesting that there's nothing left after death except in this world where animals twist into monstrous forms after they die. Interestingly, it's mostly prey animals like pig, sheep, and spiders that return as predators. Even humans seem to reanimate, with some turning into snake-like creatures. Could this be why the children wear animal masks, hoping to blend in with the monsters? It's unclear if they can escape or if they're destined for the same tragic fate as many children in the Little Nightmares universe. At one point in the trailer, we even see the sister floating off the ground, twitching as if possessed, while her brother desperately pleads for her to wake up. It seems that she's being taken over by something darker, and based on her haunting voice at the end, it feels as though the brother might sacrifice himself to save her and their friends. She says to someone, I thought you were dead, possibly hinting that her brother has reanimated, raising questions about what happens next. The full extent of how dark and disturbing Reanimal will be is hard to gauge, but if this game represents Tarzier Studios breaking free from the creative constraints they previously worked under, we can expect it to be even more grittier and more intense than anything they've made before. Both Little Nightmares and Reanimal are incredible in their own right, but in many ways, Reanimal does feel like the Little Nightmares experience we've all been dreaming of. It has everything, intense tension, an interpretive and minimalist narrative, thrilling chase sequences, and a world filled with mysteries that compel you to dig deeper. On top of that, we get dialogue between the children as they adapt to the horrors of their world. The children in Reanimal share a key trait with those in Little Nightmares. They aren't just surviving, they're adapting, becoming predators in this twisted reality. Take Six, for example. She was once trapped in her own little nightmare, but now she is the nightmare. While Little Nightmares explore the dynamic between children and adults, Reanimal seems to delve into the relationship between humans and animals, with dark twists on both. No matter what, we can expect Reanimal to deliver a phenomenal experience that fans of both series will love. This video isn't made to put one game down over the other one, but to show respect for both games. If you're a fan of Little Nightmares, you'll love Reanimal. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this, and comment your thoughts on Reanimal. Are you interested in playing Reanimal? What are you most looking forward to in this game? It makes me happy to know we can possibly enjoy two games in 2025, Little Nightmares 3 and Reanimal. Thank you for watching, and that's all.